ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Ah! Well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Go! You imbecile! You ate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? A mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them?
of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. It looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. We gem cutters. Must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. Please, take this talisman of Glimmer as a sign of our gratitude! This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar! Gems. I've tried hitting him with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. <laughs> nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time.
Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Spyro, see if you can spit all the way to the lizard. You can pick up a rock in your mouth by just walking up to it. To spit it out, press the attack button. To aim a rock, To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. 
I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. This is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, not bad. 
Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Nice job! Now try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. us out of our temples and stolen our food! shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack.
camera left or right, use the right stick. Pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb, it could help you go places.
Spyro, would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Great! Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. Locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Thank you. 
Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. On these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Spyro, you're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox.
well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the Dragon World. Are you enjoying the active camera mode? If you don't like it, I can set it back to the passive mode. Okay, I won't change it. Remember, you can change the camera mode yourself by using the options menu. at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. Nice work, Spyro! The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway, but if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Ah, yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not the portal to Dragon Shores. Aquaria Towers is still a lovely place. Why, I have a home there myself. Talisman door will only open if you have all six Summer Forest Talismans. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. Are you enjoying the active camera? 